G'day Julie, Hayden here from Pacific Toyota giving you the personalised high definition virtual tour of our 2014 Toyota Hilux. Now before I get to the video of the Hilux, what I thought I'd do is show you who Pacific Toyota are. So if you haven't been here before, this is us up here in Cairns. So at Pacific Toyota, we have two premium used car locations. Uh, at the moment we're on our main site, but if we follow Mulgrave Road, which is just beside me here, about two kilometres into the city is our second used car lot. Between the two yards, we stock in excess of about 160 to 180 vehicles at any given time. And then if we walk over here, directly opposite us, we have our two brand new showrooms. We have Toyota and Lexus over there as well. Behind them is our service and our spare parts department. We also own Hino trucks and opposite lock full drive accessories. Um, but that's enough about me rambling on about us. We'll, uh, we'll get straight back to the video tour for you. So to give you a, a, an overview of what the video tour does, I'm just basically going to show you through the entire car. So we'll go through all the paint and panel work, we'll go through the interior, um, the engine bay, service history, basically everything you'd want to know when purchasing a used vehicle. Alright, so first of all, we'll start off under the hood. Give you a look inside there. And as you can see, nice and tidy. Doesn't appear to have uh, any red dirt or anything um, sort of on the vehicle. Everything seems to be nice and tidy. The bolts have still got all the paintwork on them, which means the, the sides have not been off or the guards haven't been off. But all, all nice and tidy through there. Just close that one down. Give you a look up the bonnet now. So as you can see, no visible dents uh, in the bonnet. Now there are a couple of marks on the bonnet, a couple of scratch marks. Most of these should just buff out to be honest. Um, but there are a few little stone chips as well. This is where my fingers are pointing. Uh, more than happy to get a bit of touch up paint on them for you. Um, but all in all through the bonnet there, everything seems pretty tidy for this, uh, I guess, year model of vehicle. Uh, so we'll move along through the front bar now. Just give you a really detailed look through there. So from what I can see, it's nice and tidy. There's a couple of little marks um, just on the front bar here, which have been touched up already. There's another couple just here. So what we'll do, we'll show you down the side here of the driver's side. Just give you a look down all those panels. As you can see, no visible oil. Actually, I do tell a lie, there is a small pendant uh, just underneath the driver's side door handle, um, which I'll point out when we get to it. But other than that, um, nothing else that I can see. Um, so we'll go through all the paintwork now. A couple little marks just here. Again, should just buff out. A couple of marks just here that have already been touched up. It's just had some paint traded there. Most of that's just coming straight off of my finger, to be honest. So most of this sh stuff should just um, should just buff out. That one there may not. Um, that is a, a mark. But that dent is just here. Looks like someone's uh, opened their door onto it and given a bit of a pin dent there. A couple of marks here. I will be as honest as I possibly can throughout the video tour as well. Again, just showing you through a couple of stone chip marks. The doors. It's just a bit of, a bit of dirt there from the uh, traffic flowing through. Another mark here, another one there. So we're just working our way through to the, uh, the rear of the car now. So everything uh, seems to be in pretty good condition down that side, apart from those few marks that I've pointed out. Um, most of them should just buff out. Those deeper ones I'll be able to touch up for you. That should be no drama at all. Uh, but we'll work our way through to the rear of the car. So as you can see, we do have a, uh, a tow bar on the back. 
is a genuine tow bar uh, with obviously a Heyman Reese ball and tongue and a seven pin round uh, socket on the back there. So obviously through the tailgate, a couple of little marks uh, throughout the tailgate here. marks on the top of the tailgate as well obviously inside the tray as you can tell the tray has been used oh that everything's pretty clean through there it is a genuine Toyota color-coded canopy um, with the lockable doors and they do have slide windows as well so again, we'll go down the passenger side this time. Just give me another detailed look through all the panels there. From what I can see, this side seems to be in uh, all pretty straight order. No dents that I can see in any of the doors, which is fantastic. So again, we'll go through all the paintwork. couple of light scratch marks again just on this side another one just here another one just there obviously we do have the SR5 rims being an SR5 Hilux um, and they are wrapped with a Bridgestone jeweler uh, road terrain tyre um, plenty of tread life left on those. That's pretty much the same for front and, uh, front and rear, sorry. As you can see, just give you a quick look now in the second row of seats. Nice and tidy uh, along the seats. Doesn't look like they've had any uh, car seats or anything uh, pressed up against the rear seats here. markings on the back of the seats either which is fantastic so what we'll do we'll jump in the driver's side now and give you a look inside there so what i'll do i'll start the car up and give you a listen give it a bit of a rev for you so exactly the way a diesel should sound um, odometer, we have uh, 62,325k showing on the clock there. Um, let's give you a look through all your instrumentals on the steering wheel here. We have all your, uh, I guess, stereo or infotainment system controls. And then across to your center screen display. Uh, and then all your Bluetooth controls just here. Do have auto headlights, as you can see. Uh, it does come equipped with cruise control. And then all your power window uh, options as well. So across into your infotainment system here, um, you can see being the SR5, you do get satellite navigation. Again, it is equipped with Bluetooth and does have USB and AUX, AUX connectivity. Um, now, if I can get to a radio station, I'll be able to demonstrate the music. Before Christmas, I still need to shop. If only trade tools would do a price drop, then something happened, something quite as you can hear there, uh, all, all speakers are um, putting out clear sound, which is fantastic. So we'll move along uh, down to your climate controls. So you can actually set your ideal temperature. Uh, so temperature on the side, fan speed, and then all your directions uh, just down there. It is an automatic, as you can see. Um, and then down below, we also have uh, obviously your uh, transfer case here. We do have your 12 volt auxiliary port, uh, a secondary, uh, 12 volt auxiliary port with a, a SIGA socket, as you can see. Um, traction control and then uh, your power heat. So over to the service book. Um, this actually was from uh, just around the corner from where I used to live, actually, in Raceview. Um, so down in Ipswich. Um, and hopefully it has been serviced with Llewellyn Toyota as I can see it has so as you can see there 20 30 40 50 
60, 70, and then again with us um, at 62,000 Ks. So a, uh, a full service history there nonetheless, um, and majority of those bar one has been serviced with uh, a Toyota dealer being uh, Llewellyn Toyota down in Ipswich. Um, so obviously the vehicle has been very well looked after. Just give you a look over the top of the dash there as well. As you can see, no cracks in the dash or anything like that. So the passenger seat. Vehicle does come with uh, two keys. So you have one remote key, which is a genuine Toyota. We have the auxiliary key as well. And then all the keys for the canopy. Okay, so I'll just jump out and give you a final look over the uh, highlights now. Alrighty, so that is our 2014 Toyota SR5 Hilux. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call. But I look forward to uh, chatting with you tomorrow. Cheers.